What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Captain Ken here with Naughty Knots and I tell you what I got in store for everyone out there today. What we're going to be doing is installing the First Mate, which is a brand new wireless technology for man overboard features. As you know, the U.S. Coast Guard now just passed the law for any vessel 26 feet or under has to have a kill switch attached to the captain on the vessel just in case somebody goes overboard. That way it shuts the vessel off. What we have here is First Mate. What First Mate brings us is now wireless technology. That way you don't have to feel being tethered to a cord for your kill switch to be compliant. You can wear it on your wrist. They have clips that you can wear it on your belt, even where you can clip it onto your dog if your dog seems that they wanna go out on the water with you and your family. So what I would do is sit back Relax, and I'm gonna show you how we go ahead and install this kill switch, wireless kill switch that is, on this 25 foot Tidewater Custom Carolina Bay. Let's go. to do is you have to make sure that you can gain access to your center console or wherever your uh, kill switch wiring is at. After you've uh, gained access to that, you want to go ahead and grab the quick harness that uh, First Mate actually supplies for you. I have a Yamaha. They have them for every other manufacturer out there too. However, this is a, a quick harness where you don't have to cut any wires. You literally just unplug your factory harness and this kind of uh, uh, goes um, in between it, that way it's a quick and easy installation between this and to your actual hub itself. So make sure that you find a, uh, an area inside where you can actually mount this hub. Preferably somewhere close to your actual kill switch and you know anywhere between where this actual cable is going to be able to reach. So those are the steps that you need to do. Let's go ahead and do it. Alright, well, we went ahead and installed this unit, and I can tell you what, this is by far probably the easiest thing that I've ever installed on my boat, electronic-wise. Um, literally, it took maybe 15 minutes to wire it in. Um, I didn't have to cut any wires. I didn't have to splice any wires. Nothing. Literally, the existing harness from Yamaha, right? Um, taps right into the harness that they provided for you. You, you know, pull the, the, the bullet connectors out and the harness that comes with, um, the unit actually comes with the bullet connectors where you actually just literally just put one in and the, the out on the other has a female on the other. So no cutting, no splicing, direct connection. The hardest part was choosing where I was gonna mount the unit. And you know, as you can see, it's pretty small. Um, you know, bear with my wiring here a little bit. It's behind the console, but I had a piece of starboard that was put in here before. I just took two screws and screwed right into it and ran the, and then basically uh, ran the antenna, which has a, a 3M um, adhesive to it. It's got a long enough cord, so if you've gotta run it somewhere else, but right here works real easy for me. So now that we got this unit installed, let's go ahead and get it powered up. Let's see what we can do with it. 
All right, guys. Well, we got the unit installed, and I went ahead prior and downloaded the uh, First Mate app, which you can find on your App Store or Google Play Store. Um, what this app is going to do before you get to the screen is going to help you program your fobs. This is the captain's fob, so this is the main fob of the vessel, okay? And it's going to give you a step-by-step -step directions on how to properly um, connect your fobs to your device. I personally um, chose to get a few extra ones. Um, it does, I believe, uh, up to six. I could be wrong. Um, I'll, I'll put it down in the description if, uh, if I am off, but I'm pretty sure it's six. I went ahead and got the um, four extra units. So, you know, if I have passengers on my boat, my family, or even my dog, um, I'm able to connect them and have them set up on the First Mate technology. So as you can see here, kind of like a watch band. Um, so it makes it real easy for you to wear um, when you're out on the water. Um, that way it's real comfortable. And if you don't want to use a watch band, they do provide you uh, with a clip style too. So with every fob, they go ahead and send you the wristband option and the clip option. So like this one, you know, if you have a dog, you can easily just clip it on their collar and then you'll know if you know your, your dog decides that it's gonna fall overboard or accidentally fall overboard, you're gonna get notifications. So now that these are already programmed, I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of how it works. So these are, as you can see, my passenger fobs. And the cool part is, is with the captain's fob, when I go ahead and I connect the unit, So as you can see there, it just told me right away, the fob has been detected and the engines are unlocked. So it just registered one of the passengers. And if I give it, you know, a couple of seconds and such like that, it'll also register the other passengers. So while it's doing that, I'm gonna talk about a couple of features um, that not only does this have, as you heard another beep, that means another passenger fob has been detected. It's now on two. On top of your man overboard features, which is ultimately outstanding with the, the new First Mate technology, this actually has theft deterrent. And what I mean by theft deterrent is you as the captain can actually lock your engines from your wristband or your app, which means if you walk away from your dock, you leave your keys sitting still, you know, on your, on your console, somebody can't run away and steal your boat awesome feature right on top of that it also has a distress message the distress message is if somebody falls overboard you know captain whoever you can choose in your contact list who receives a message and you can choose the time frame when they receive the message or however however you want the cool part is is it will tell them exactly where you are and when it happened so you can choose many different people to actually receive that message. So again, the other cool feature, which is coming, okay? So I'm telling you now, now's the time to get it. If I go ahead and I select in here, here's a secret feature that's coming. As you can see right now, it says the captain's connected and it says I have four passengers connected. Also shows my distress message is on. So if you know something happens, I'm in distress, it's gonna message you know whoever I chose on that list and here's TDS engines. So this is where you actually can lock your engines. So if I click here, as you can see, it says lock engines. However, there's a hidden feature. If you go ahead and swipe, oop, iPhone problem. You swipe up, as you can see, there's, there's extra options in here where I can enable it, disable it, or off the captain fob. But here's the little secret that I was told that's coming. If you see other TDS options drop down, you see that currently it's grayed out but it will be on soon. That's enable motion monitoring. So what that is, is so exciting. So if you're at home, you're out to dinner, whatever, you'll know if somebody's messing with your boat. It's basically an alarm system that's built into it. So this is gonna be a complete game changer, you know, when they activate this feature and it is coming. I got confirmation from Felmarine that it is coming. So. Now that you see that I've got, you know, myself and four passengers set on this, I'm gonna give you kind of a, a demonstration of what it does. So right now, 
I have uh, my engine. Um, I'm on. I'm on a trailer. I have it. You know, run on running water at the moment, just for display purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. And now it's fired up. But the cool part is, is now I don't have to be up there. If I want to shut my engine off, I'm the captain. Hit that button and she fires off. I tell you what, that is an awesome feature. All right, now I'm gonna show you the theft deterrent system. As you can see here on my app, it shows the TDS that engines are unlocked. So right now I'm able to turn the key and my motor fires right up. Next, I'm gonna show you the actual how we lock it. So you can take the fob, hit the power button, and as you can see now, it says TDS engines locked. So I can walk away, I can do whatever I want, go back and turn this key, and the motor won't fire. Awesome feature. And then if I want to unlock them, again, hit the power on there, engines unlocked. <laughs> fires up awesome feature all right guys that's the brand new first mate by Phil marine which is wireless man overboard technology as well as built-in theft deterrent system and soon coming motion sensor activated this by far is probably one of the coolest new products out on the market today besides it being so user friendly and when I mean somebody that has no knowledge of boat wiring or wiring in general can easily follow the directions on how to install this unit within 15 minutes. If you have a Yamaha, they have a specific one for you. Mercury as well, Suzuki, Honda is able to have these features as well. So with that being said, as we all know, the U.S. Coast Guard now mandates that any vessel 26 foot and under now has a man overboard type of feature, whether you're tied to a cord with that tether or you make it as easy as wireless technology built onto your wrist. This is the way to go. So again, if you're looking to purchase a First Mate technology, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. Outside of that, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this, and I'll see you next time.